A beauty of a tree. What beautiful footwear. P roll checking in. There's nothing I've not climbed up on this baby, I'm telling you. I must admit, it's reasonably heavy. We're reasonably laden. We've got treats on board. We have prepped. Modest fireplace this evening. I bought this like huge eight by, what was it? Four and a half foot or something. Whatever you want to call it, off at the bay. Quite a while ago, but we just use it. It's light at the trailer, chucked it in, win-win. Thought I'd come to the same spot again. Why not? Check out the tarp though, again, because I had the trailer. We chucked it in. Don't want to overload it though. You'll learn, you will. Leafage, tarp. Just airing a few things. Fail. Ain't you gonna ain't you gonna edit that out, P roll? No, not at all, because it happened. So you may have gathered. I don't want to be on camera. There may come a time and I'll do that again, but anyway, that's something else. I could make so many videos about so many things over the past few years, but anyway. Pretty enjoyable ride here. It started out kind of um like wet, but it was warm. So it kind of rained and then I dried off, I got a bit damp. And then I just kind of wore a t-shirt up the hills because you know, you're only gonna sweat and again it's hot. Um, seen a couple of riders not far from base camp. They passed me. They had like just basic um, like bike packing bags, not loads of stuff. So I don't know what they were up to. And then I seen them again about like 15 miles down the road again. Um, loads of music everywhere, loads of weddings going on. I can hear music now thumping away somewhere. But it's a long old winter, isn't it? And I just needed just needed to get out and start getting out more and just get more used to it. So I just came here again because I was comfortable here. And we may explore and find other places to camp. But I like the view here. I like, I've got, I've got the fact that I've got like a wall behind me. Um, it's not really an area which you see many people. Um, but you know, I'm always up early like I was last time. And many times before. Arrive late, which I reasonably did, I guess. And then uh, leave no trace and leave early. I have. Gonna do some potatoes later on in the fire. Yes, we brought some foil as well. Pretty exciting stuff. I don't know if I'll eat these. Yeah, they are vegan, but they're also they call them chicken. And you don't have to put the little flavouring thing in, but I just brought them something else I could have. Really don't know what to film, what to show. Don't want to be one of those YouTubers, like you know. Sadly, I am. Not a lot going on in camp, people. Not a lot going on. Look at it. Home for the night. Probably just enough, uh, how should I put it, warmth in the air just to kind of air those. Like they weren't like soaking wet, just a bit damp. And I got like my hoodie, my hoodie hanging on my bike. And my packable, packable jacket. Insulated, not down. Not down for the down. But living it, living it, living the dream. Do yourself a bit of wild camping. You know it makes sense. And I stole that from someone else. Because it does. It's good for the soul, man. It really is. And it helps, I think, if you choose your places. Like, you don't want... You don't want to be discovered. You don't want to be somewhere where there's tons of people... Like, could walk past you in the morning or something like... You know, because people are up. Like last week, there were some joggers and things. Like nowhere near like, or some fell runners, whatever you want to call them, the correct terminology. 
but just me and the birds. Mr. Fox came up over there a minute ago. I'll just give him a bit of a He couldn't see me because of the because of that I'm blending in. Do you know what this is my favourite part about camping is this time of night and then when it obviously when it gets dark. I don't like I don't like waking up. I don't like hearing the birdies and things. I mean it's cool and stuff. But I don't like that bit. Cause cause for me it's like it's over. It's like I never used to like heading home from a cycle ride because I knew it was gonna be over. Like mentally it didn't really do me any good. That's why I used to go like go out all night and things. I'm gonna yabble again in a minute. You love it. That's what it's all about. Lovely. Water's at a premium. That water I put in there about an hour or so ago. Had my flannel, which is right there. Actually, that's not the flannel. Oh, it's right there. And I wash with that water, yeah. But water's at a premium, so we're going to boil it. We're going to boil the little spudders. All good. Ain't going to hurt Yeah. He raw. We're getting there. We are getting there. Show them the spud action p raw, the spadoolies. Do you find that annoying? Annoying? A little, little, little. Annoying, I'll say it again. Spadoolies. I thought I'd boil them first. I mean, why not? Maybe it's for a better spud. People got those chip skills, haven't they? They all do it a different way. We shall find out. See, it's very exciting in camp. Fire, spadoolies. That's about it. You've got to be here to appreciate it. You can't tell by watching the video, people. Maybe I should turn this into how to cook potatoes beside the fire. Looks good to me. Those other ones will probably be a bit better. I'm hungry. Just showing my responsible fire clean up. Dug it right down, wetted it down. 
It's pretty cool now. Cover that up. When I've actually packed up, you never know I've been here. Bit of a misty old morning, folks. I can see you. I can see you. That's what we call a lane. Proper lane. <laughs> 